business decisions, and analytics. So, about 30 years ago, Coca-Cola announced a change to its nearly century-old secret formula. And it was stated that this new Coke would have a smoother, sweeter taste, similar to Diet Coke, but sweetened with corn syrup. And so market researchers and individuals who took polls were absolutely sure that this was going to be a success. It was going to be a hit. However, a poll ended up showing that only 13% of soda drinkers liked the new Coke when put into production. Obviously, the experiment was not accepted by the consumers. It was abhorred so much, in fact, that Coke drinkers launched grassroots campaigns across the country, forcing Coca-Cola to bring back original Coke and compelling the company to work on it. So where did Coca-Cola go wrong? Well, Donald Coe, uh, president of Coca-Cola, stated, look, the simple fact is that all of this time and money and skill poured into consumer research on a new Coca-Cola could not measure or reveal the depth and abiding emotional attachment to original Coca-Cola felt by so many people. They were accustomed to a certain taste, a certain model, a certain visual, that a certain attachment to quote-unquote old Coke. And ultimately, the company failed to make the right business decision. Well, if that's the case, then what is the right business decision? The right business decision is one that helps achieve high revenue and or reduce expenses and or meet customer expectations. And how do we do that? Well, we do that by applying a series of methodologies and techniques to measure performance and improve upon them. And this is called business analytics. So by definition, business analytics is the scientific process that transforms data into insights that is used for fact-based or data-driven decision-making. Now, how can we do that? Well, business analytics can use tools such as reports, visualizations, including graphs, optimizations such as models, data mining for new insights, and simulations to predict the what-if of what could happen. Now, there's three primary features of business analytics themselves. Decision support systems, business continuity support, and the methodologies they're comprised of. So decision support systems is one of the most prominent aspects of business analytics. And the reason why is because leadership and executives are continuously having to make decisions to drive their departments and to drive their organizations. And they want to continuously make the right decisions. And they don't necessarily know what the right decision is. But if they could use data and use business analytics to help apply that to make more informed decisions, then these solutions, these decision support systems and their components will allow for that. The second piece is business continuity support. So perhaps an organization wants to support more essential business functions internal to the organization. Perhaps you've had coworkers who were absolute superstars and other coworkers who you wondered how they got the job. Well, imagine if business analytics had been applied to the hiring process and allowing the people that were trying to get jobs at the organization to hire the absolute best people and then ensuring that attrition's reduced and retention's improved so that the best people stay, perform staff deployments, decide strategy. All these components will allow an organization to run more effectively and efficiently. And analytics can be applied internally to the organization to ensure that's done well. The last piece, and extremely important, are the methodologies that analytics are comprised of. And that includes concepts from applied probability, mathematics, statistics, and computer science. And integrating these aspects together with the organizational data produced helps gain more meaningful insights, which allows for better business planning and business performance. 